Welcome to another edition of Florida Newsmakers. I'm Tramel Gomes with our very special guest, Pam Stewart, the Education Commissioner of Florida. Welcome to the program. Thank you. It's good to be here. Well, the last time we spoke, um, you were interim Education Commissioner. That's right. And I understand you've been in that position a couple of times, and now you're at the helm. How does it feel? It feels good. It really does. I think we've got a lot to do in Florida, and I'm up for that challenge and look forward to this opportunity. Now, what do you think is the biggest challenge facing education here in the state? We have lots facing us right now. I've been in public education over 30 years and never seen quite as many things happening all at once, but I would say number one is getting the right standards in front of our students. Now, when it comes to achieving these standards, there are lots of talk about Common Core, those high standards. Um, what does that mean for the future of education in Florida? Those Common Core state standards really are more rigor rigorous standards, and they will help our students be ready for college or career or life. And they do that through teaching our students how to think critically, how to problem solve and do analytical thinking. So it's what we want our students to do rather than just memorizing things. Now, there are a lot of critics to Common Core. Some say this is an overreach from the federal government. It's too much testing, and the cost will be too great for Florida to deal with. Now, how are you easing those concerns? We have spent the month of October um, collecting public input. We did three public meetings throughout the state and listened to people and their concerns and want to make these standards the very best for Florida students. I think that we will join hands and do everything we can to ensure that there isn't federal overreach and we don't do data mining of our students' information. So we'll stand together on those issues, but at the same time, ensuring that we have the best standards for our students. What will new assessment look like? That's a very good question. You know, we've been using the Florida Comprehensive Assessment Test and we'll have to move to an assessment that will align to the new standards. So we are exploring all avenues to make sure that we have the best assessment to measure those standards. We have put out a bid process and we will be reviewing uh, vendors' applications to see what assessment will best meet our needs. Now you have a unique challenge. All the stakeholders here you have from the governor, the legislature, the parents, and most importantly the students. How are you navigating through all of this um, for the, your ultimate goal of just getting the state um, educated? That's right. I, I think it's important this first step of collecting the public input and doing so in a very large way. Um, we have over 13,000 comments that we've received thus far and I think that's so important that we listen and that we assimilate all that information and then have a great plan moving forward to make these standards the very best as well as communicating the right information about where we're headed in education. Now this debate around Common Core, do you think it has affected the way schools are preventing them from moving forward or has it at all? We, there is that danger, but uh, we've done what we can to communicate with schools and with districts that currently the standards are as they stood in 2010 and that any action that's taken will be clearly communicated to districts before they have to make any kinds of changes. Now as we deal with all this and see these upcoming changes, what do you say to the parents in ensuring that their students are prepared and are going to be successful? I think as we always would encourage parents to do, to be familiar with the standards that are their child's grade level and in addition to that, become familiar with the materials that your child is using at the school level and talk to the teacher about what the expectations are and what they can do at home to help their children. Well, Commissioner Stewart, thank you so much for joining me here. We appreciate you and we hope to have you back. And to our viewers, we'll catch you next time.